everyone, it's Janet here. I wanted to share with you the giveaway that I did for the What's Love Got to Do With It YouTube Pop. Um, I mentioned in my giveaway that I would be um, catering it to the person. So Peggy is the winner and I will be sending her some goodies and she really likes the pastel colors and she kind of wanted some of the Tilda papers, which I got her um, a 12 by 12 pack of those and then I've also made her some goodies and I'm also going to send similar items to um, Betty which is Scrap Passion 01 who hosted the event and I wanted to thank her for that so I'll start out with the cards that I made I've made each of one of them a little heart card like this um, similar colors just opposite and what I did is I took a silhouette file it was this one here with the heart with the piece over it like that and then on the top of it um, as you can see it's just little teeny scraps of fabric and I had some of this um, Tanya Whalen fabric that I just love and these were some scraps from a project that I did and I'll show you what I did with some of that but I had all these beautiful scraps and I just couldn't part with them so I've kept them in a bag and what I did is I just cut teeny little pieces and kind of just scrunched them together with my hot glue gum to make this little flowers to go over the flowers on each one and in some places I stuck in a little piece of lace and some little chiffon underneath there so if anyone's interested I could do a tutorial on that but it was just a great way to use up all the little scraps and really add dimension to the card and then I added this little piece of seam binding that I ran through my printer and put their names on it. This one says Betty and this one says Peggy. And um, I also have a, a YouTube um, video on how to do that and I will put the link down below. And then this was just a little bling, bling piece from my stash and then just a little piece of twine there. So very simple but great way to use all those little leftover fabric scraps. So I was really happy with the way those turned out. And the original project was these little spools. Now these were the spools that came from Michaels that had twine on them. So I just took the twine off and in these, this case I wanted um, to keep kind of that textural element but I wanted to add more pink in. So what I used over the top of it was this Inca Gold in the rose quartz so I just kind of just rubbed some all over it and just kind of gave it a still kept the rustic but gave it a little pink shine to it and this is what I had done with the Tanya Whalen fabric um, I made this spool and what I want the girls to do is if they want is to make a photo album out of it so it's just pretty plain on the inside and I do have written on there that just add photos for your album on a spool so that is the spool but on the back side is the Tanya Whalen fabric now this was inspired by the tutorial by Tutu Amy um, I love how she did this and she did it straight and what I did is did the same thing but I did it on a diagonal on a piece of muslin that looks like this and then I just cut strips from the bottom to make my spool. So that is how I just did a big piece of this. So pretty. And it's a great technique. And I will put the link to Amy's um, YouTube down below so you can get that. It really is pretty on the outside with all those different fabrics. And then on the edge, I just have some lace and a little heart charm on a safety pin and some seam binding to wrap it up. So that is the spool, and at the top, I have some rosettes trimmed down below here in the aqua, a little heart bead of some flowers. These are wild orchid craft flowers and some millinery flowers and a little cameo. And then on the back, I have lace and a couple more flowers. So very simple, but a really cute project. I've made several of these from some of my quilting friends, and actually I put pictures in them, and it really turns out nice. So on the end here, I just did a little bit of trim and then I used this gorgeous aqua lace that was in the Michaels um, really pretty pretty lace so anyway that is the one for Betty and then I have one here for 
Peggy, very similar, just a few little alterations to it. So fun little project, easy to do. And then I also made a couple more of my cupcakes. Um, made several of these before, but I just love making them in the Tilda colors. These are, this color combination of the aqua and pink is just some of my all time fave and it goes really well with the Tilda papers. So used an old earring piece there for that and then made some stick pins to go in it. So it's definitely very usable. So there's that one. And then I also love this piece on this one that I put on there. So pretty much made the same. And then I made both of them French fry boxes with the Tilda paper. The Country Escape is the papers I used on this and that's also the pad of paper that I got for Peggy. It is my favorite of the Tilda, especially these designs here. I just think they are so soft and pretty. So I've just included some little clothes pins that I painted and added some seam binding. And then there's one back here that has lace on it. And there's some clothes pins in this here and some flowers. And then these tags I got from Michael's. And so they're in here. And then also some of these little goodies from Michael's. So just a fun little way to Put it all together so I will be sending those out. I hope they enjoy but I will not post this until after they receive it. Thanks so much everyone for watching.